Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Star Trek Online community. This is Zeph Films, and this is the first installment of my demo record tutorial that I said last year that I would do for you guys. So here we are. We're going to do it. Now, if you're new to the game and you don't know what Demo Record is, Demo Record is a built in program in Star Trek Online that allows you to do um, different things. Like you can make your own little videos. It's a great tool for setting up awesome uh, screenshots. Those are pretty much the two main and only purposes for them. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to use Demo Record. Now, as you know, I use Demo Record a lot for uh, all of the uh, the videos that I do, mainly the Fresh Out of Space Stock videos and some of the community videos that I've done, such as the Iconian uh, War um, trailer and the New Dawn trailer and the fleet holdings that have been introduced since I've started doing these videos for the community. Examples of those, uh, I did a video for the Krenum uh, Space Station I've also done a video for the K-13 Starbase when it got released onto Tribble. What I'll be going over in this episode is how to start and stop a demo record file, um, what does demo record record, and how to locate that file after you're done your recording, and how to load it as pretty much the introduction. So as you can see here, we're outside of Earth space stock. Um, there's Omega particles for the daily run to get your marks for the Lucari ship. Um, there's other players sitting around. There's a pink Pathfinder down there. There's a Defiant. Yeah, it doesn't matter. To start a demo record file, you want to go down into your chat window, wherever you have it situated, forward slash, is it forward slash or backslash? So you want to hit forward slash demo record, hit the space bar, and then type in what file name you want to use. So for this one, we will do fresh one. Helps if I spell fresh, right? So fresh one. And once you have that, you hit the enter button. All the assets in the area will reload. And up in the near the top left of your screen, you should see the word demo recording. So what's happening is a file is being written to your disk uh, that's recording everything that's going on in this instance. So this Federation cruiser that's up here, it's tracking its flight plan. Uh, this person that's flying towards Earth space dock, it's recording that flight plan. Uh, people who are just sitting aimlessly it's recording people sitting aimlessly. So everything that's happening on in this instance is being recorded. So to stop the recording, you go down into your chat window again, and then forward slash demo record underscore stop, which will shit. So bloopers on the go. Helps if you spell it correct. So demo record underscore stop. So they, it might look like that your game freezes up a little bit. Um, that's normal. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. That is just the program saving that demo file to the, um, to the disk. Obviously, the longer that you have demo record running for, the longer that little freeze up is going to take. So if you're doing a um, ISA and it takes, God forbid, 15 minutes to do, and you're demo recording for the entire time, it's going to cause your system to kind of sit there and freeze longer. And it's also dependent on what your specs are. So if you have a Core 2 Duo um, with 4 gigs of RAM and a really old hard drive, go make a sandwich and come back <laughs> if you're doing long files. If you're just looking to do a screenshot, then the best thing to do, you don't want to run that file any longer than, say, 10 seconds. You want to give yourself a buffer at least 4 seconds because when, and you'll see this when we load up the demo record file, that uh, when you load the file, it has to load up all these assets in the space. So from here, we're gonna go and uh, exit out of the game, and I'm gonna show you where you can find your demo record file. So once you're out of the game and you wanna see where that file saved or make sure that it saved properly, more often than not it does, go to where 
ever. So if you have multiple hard drives, go to the hard drive or the partition that Star Trek Online is saved in. So in this instance, mine is on the C drive. Go to Program Files. For me, it's x86. Scroll down until you see Perfect World Entertainment, and then Star Trek Online, then Star Trek Online again. And then you'll come down to two folders, Live and Playtest. Playtest is Tribble. So if you do any screenshots, uh, any demo record files on Tribble, then they will be put into Playtest. If you do screenshots and uh, demo record files on the holodeck, then they will be put into Live. For what we just did, we were on holodeck, so we'll go into Live, and then we'll go to the folder Demos. And then in here, you'll see where all the, uh, all the demo record files are. And for me, I have a few. I think I have a problem. So anyway, as you can see here, uh, Fresh One is the file that we made. Today is January 28th, 7.25 p.m. Eastern Time. So you don't need to really do anything with the file. You just, this is where the files go. The beginning part of your path might differ based on how you installed the game. So if you installed it through Steam, it might be a little bit different. I just wanted to show you the folder where everything ends up. <sighs> So once you've completed your demo file, you exit out of the game and then reload the launcher, like how you see here right now. What you want to do, and this is the way that I always do it, there is a couple other ways to do it. This is just the way I'm used to doing it, and this is the way that I'm going to teach it because I, I, I don't want to teach ways that I don't do. It's just weird. Up at the top, you'll see news, forum, support, options. Uh, release notes, click on options, scroll all the way to the bottom where you see command line. In command line, you want to type in dash or minus sign demo play, hit the space bar, and then the file name that we made was um, fresh one dot demo. You have to remember to put dot demo in there. Once you're done, hit save. Another thing to note, if you made a demo record file in Tribble, you want to make sure that you have the Tribble server selected. You gotta re you have to open up the demo file in the uh, in the server that you took the demo file. If you try and open up a uh, Tribble demo file in the holodeck, the game will just crash and be like file not found. So once you have that command saved, um, you hit the engage button like you would when you're launching the game. You'll see the thing disappear. And then you'll see the splash screen. And now here is demo record. Uh, so what it's doing is once the file is loaded up, it'll play through the file automatically. Let it do that. There'll be a window that pops up um, soon. Can't remember how long. I really wish I paid attention to how long I ran this file. It should be ending soon. There it is, finally. So we waited, uh, so that demo file was one minute, 16 seconds long. Uh, so this window, even though it says program error, it's fine. Just click okay. Uh, go up to the top left corner and hit pause. And then hit the back button. And the back button will bring you back all the way to 00000000. 000 000 000 000 000. Then you press play, let all the assets load in, wait till about four seconds, in this instance five, and you're ready to edit. And that is where we're going to end this first episode. In the second episode, we're going to be going over uh, the different commands that are in um, uh, demo record so to change uh, field of view uh, render scale we'll also talk about the controls that uh, are used in demo record so how to move around how to get into free camera mode we're going to get into the nitty-gritty kind of stuff in the next episode but uh, thank you for watching this one i hope this made sense uh, go ahead and try and make a demo record file uh, get yourself comfortable with loading the file and uh, and uh, i'll see you at the and I'll see you in the second episode. Thank you. See you then.